Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this install error that is 0x800F0991. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can try to update and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a racket on command prompt app and run it as an administrator. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Now paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan, it will take time. And once the scan is 100% complete over here, copy the second command and then paste it over here. And once the second scan is 100% complete, run the third command. Once you run the third scan, once the third scan is 100% complete over here, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows update and then click on pause over here. You can see pause update, pause. And once pause, resume updates. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Now find app readiness in services and then make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on app readiness, click on restart. Now find windows update in the list, scroll down here you can see windows update, make a double click on windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then make a right click and then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can check. Still not working, the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run the cxc file click on yes to allow and over here if you see update option or install option you can update it from here and then check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update advanced option scroll down click on recovery option now over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can go to windows update update history this will repair you will see repair version of version 2 for h2 once this is done now you can go to windows update and you can update your uh, windows 11 to version 25 h2 still not working use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser again it will take you to microsoft website media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file you will see the screen click on accept over here by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once it is done click on finish option do not close this manually let it close automatically this will take few seconds so maybe a minute to close now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer restart your computer and then log into the computer and then you can go to windows update and then you can install version 25 h2 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this version successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel